very saw the video on odd time signatures I did on five here, we're going to move up to seven. And again, we'll count it instead of counting to seven. Um, kind of screws things up because seven's two syllables, so it's going to mess up your count. You'll probably play an eight. But um, we're going to break it up in twos and threes again. So we got uh, basically three options to do that. We can go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, or one, two, three, one, two, one, two. All those add up to seven. And same kind of principle. You're going to probably feel like the getting back to the first one is rushed. Um, but make sure you don't put in the silent eight. Um, so now we'll take the same kind of concept, two notes on our E string. We'll take pentatonic scale, sort of, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's five to eight, five to seven on A, and five, six, seven on D. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One. Try playing the accents as well, just the ones. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, Working with a metronome, of course, is gonna be helpful for this kind of stuff. Um, especially with a metronome where you can set it to a seven where you hear the accent. Um, other than that, if you listen to music, what's weird when I was learning these, I was having, you know, it took a little bit of time working with a drummer to learn how to do this, but I, he was able to point out some songs I knew how to play already that were, in fact, in seven. Um, things like... Um, that's one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. So it's two, two variations on a seven there. Um, the song Money. Also a seven. So if you're used to, um, if you, there's a song you know well, if you're familiar with it, it might be easier to kind of play that and think of that. What actually, you know, um, thinking of, what is it, Tom Sawyer? Um... I was able to take that kind of rhythm in my head and that melody even in my head and just put my own notes over it and start feeling more comfortable playing in a seven. So I just make something up with that same kind of melody in my head, you know. Um, and try, trying things like that can be really helpful. But it's a matter of just kind of repeating it, playing along with the metronome until it feels comfortable, until it, you can just pretty much groove with it and then um, experiment with it. It's a um, really cool way to I think make something a little bit more different and interesting in music instead of just playing in fours or threes all the time.